Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. It is Sunday and you know what that means. Yes, it is walking dead time. Folks, it is season 11, episode 13, Warlords. As you can see, no Mason Quinn today. He's off somewhere that is not around here and that's okay. It's just you and me and the walking dead. So without further ado, let's go. Whoa, what? Really? <laughs> Just up in the air. I'll let it pass. Let it pass. <clears throat> Ridiculous, though. <laughs> Directions to the nearest Commonwealth checkpoint. Troopers left in case people change their minds. A lot of people are. Interesting. People are starting to leave. Not that we didn't see that coming, but. Hey, see your shot. <laughs> you need an escort? <laughs> Why? It's a long walk, you know? Smooth. Smooth. You got a rider coming. Hold where you are. Hold where you are. Not stop, but hold. Dude got messed up. They're slaughtering them. Who's slaughtering who? Commonwealth? I want to know what those papers are. All right, folks. I am a little interested in seeing what your thoughts are about, I guess, a potential relationship between Elijah and Lydia. I don't know what to think about that, but my go-to is always when there's a relationship starting to form or there is going to be a relationship, the majority of the time it doesn't pan out well for one of them. So I don't know. Drop your comments down below. Let me know. <clears throat> We're not going. Here's the papers. Maggie, she died begging for our help. Someone we know must have sent him. Commonwealth or Georgie. Or it could be a trap. Ah, folks, I know a lot of you were asking about is Georgie still around or alive? Well, that's confirmed. Still alive. Being outnumbered has never stopped you before. Maybe it should have. <laughs> it's not a bad point, Maggie. That's exactly who my mother would have targeted, and I helped. I'm not letting it happen to someone else. All right, folks. Now Lydia wants to step up and help people. I'm calling her right now. That is not a good thing. Hoping I'm wrong, but now she wants to step up. I don't think it's going to be good. Mom, Herschel. What do I always tell you? As long as it takes. Folks, keep that keep that saying in mind for Isle the Isle of the Dead. I mean, that is interesting. Herschel asked, "How long is it going to take?" And the common common answer is. As long as it takes. I'm telling you, that's going to have a tie into the Isle of the Dead. You know, before the fall, I lived on a farm with my family and my dad. A corporate farm developer started knocking on our door trying to buy us out. And one day, this bad drought hit. They knew we were in debt and desperate. Started dropping off crates of food to help with the livestock. He said that we were being tested. The drought ended. And those developers never bothered us again. I get the story here, but a drought versus zombie apocalypse, Maggie. Not the same. What would you have done? Asked everyone what they wanted instead of deciding for them. <laughs> Those people have not been tested for 10 years. Do you want to be there when they are? Uh, well, how do you know that, Maggie? Let's, let's ask you that. How do you know, Maggie, they haven't been tested? Do you agree? With most of it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that armor, how do they get jacked up? Oh, why are they zooming on this key? I don't recall anything about a key, so folks, remind me if you know what that key meant, because they zoomed on it for a reason there. Or focused. Shot between the armor gaps. Thank you, Maggie. Now I know. <laughs> hey! Hey! Ooh, doing a little flashback. Let's go. There were a lot of stunned faces when I asked all of you to sit by a stranger today. A lot of stiff backs, clenched butt cheeks. <laughs> I will say, it's interesting to see Gabriel actually be at a church doing his role. After they heard that I worked for an NGO back in the day, now we're reaching out and bringing in people that need help. Dang, so Aaron's going back on the road to recruit people? 
there's a group of about 40 people holed up in an apartment complex. Some of the folks upstairs, uh, they thought it would be a good idea if you tagged along. Also, my boss, Carlson, would be with us. He's a little, uh, well, you'll see. Awesome. So we're getting Aaron and Gabe back on the team together again. I'll take that. Just kind of like in their uh, extra six episodes of the extended 10 season. Hey! I feel that. This dude was in Ozarks. He crushed it in Ozarks. That mix of dopamine and adrenaline, just... <laughs> That anticipation, we're going to change lives. I thought you said these were friendly settlers. That doesn't look friendly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if they're angry, it just means they're afraid. I cannot wait to watch you two do your thing. Early impressions. I'm not sure what to think about this guy. Are they setting up camp? That they are. Better not spook the natives. Sergeant Crow, do you copy? Copy, sir. Over. You see? <laughs> <laughs> this dude is going to be problems, I'm telling you. I'm not so sure about this. Because of some pre-game jitters? Because your plan is shit, and I don't want to die. <laughs> yes! Think of the same thing, Gabe. What's the largest group you found? Four. And there are 40 in there. It's not up for discussion. I need you to trust that I know what I'm doing. This is not going to go well. Oh, he took off the collar. Wear that. It's part of your... Um... Costume. This is how this is going to go. This is going to get real interesting real quick, folks. I don't even know what to think yet. But I do dig the tension. We come from a community called the Commonwealth. Our people left these where you would find them. We have more back at our camp if you'd like. Is there anyone I could speak with? If this is someone from the comic, please refresh my memory because I cannot remember. Just the four of you? There's a group of peacekeepers waiting for us to check in. Sounds scary. Oh, we're getting quite a few introductions in this episode today. Who is this? Seats. We come from a community called the Commonwealth. 50,000 people live there, functioning government, housing for everyone. Soldiers and churches too, I take it. Did you lose your collar? Wanted you to see who I was before learning. Hey, I know this actor now, Terminator. It was, it was ringing. That's where we live. <laughs> Aaron's come a long way from the photos to now an iPhone or whatever. Good for you, Aaron. There's a screening process. An audition. Well, let me get my tap dancing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> where is this uh, Commonwealth located? We can't tell you that. Because you say so? Then why am I talking to him? Turn around and look in that back corner. Hey, is this Shades of the Governor with the zombie heads? Murderers, rapists, few cannibals. All of them met my people harm. If you know where I live and I don't know where you live, how dumb would that be for me to let you go? <laughs> That's a great point. Get on your goddamn knees! How dumb would I be to let you go? Dumb, okay? <laughs> Dumb. Damn. Do you think I'm stupid too? I, I, I don't want to be on the shelf, and I don't think you're stupid. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry. This is funny. Do we look like raiders to you? What do you want? Exactly. This place is a shithole. Why would we want <laughs> yes. it? Great call, Gabe. You think we're cannibals? With pre-packaged MREs, that's what you're going with? Yes, Aaron. Get them. You aren't starving right now because of us. The soldiers in those photos. If we don't get back, they'll come in here and kill all of you. Or <laughs> nobody dies. <laughs> De-escalate. <laughs> and we will never come back here again. And we will never bother you. Yeah, that's fair. Fair trade-off. You will leave here. You will never come back. Carlson! He was gonna let us go! Shut up! Keep him hostage. <laughs> Holy shit, Carlson, what did you just do? Dude. <laughs> one week and one hour ago. Dude's a freaking loose cannon. Ah, uh, no, four years sober next month. So she's released a lot of resources for me. I used some of them to send out a convoy full of supplies. The convoy didn't check in last week. It was hijacked. Troopers guarding it, all dead. Tracks led to an apartment complex where some group is holed up. Another warlord. There we go. And... Warlord, 
Title of the episode. I ask for 100 troops. There's no way Milton doesn't notice. I need a surgical solution. I don't do that anymore, Lance. I need the former CIA guy. I need an assassin. I like being retired. So this dude was trained like a mofo. I'm tired of living. Oh. <laughs> well, four years has kind of gone out the window, technically. Okay. What are you thinking? So this whole time, the game plan was to go in there and just remove all of them. Priest gets their guard down. They let you in. And what about when things turn and I have to tell them what's what? They'll fall in line. Sweep the rear. This is insane, but I love the twists. The guns and the cargo you hijack, where are they? No idea what you're talking about. Three sets of tracks led back here from there. You want to try again? We found them like that. He was lied to me. No, he didn't. He's not lying. So who the hell? Hey, oh, hey. Gabe! Stop! What is going on? I found those weapons. Don't you think I... Dude was going to tell you the truth. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. All that talk and you died so quick. <laughs> oh, look. He's making fun of a dead body. <laughs> Carlson's nuts. He's a damn animal. We are supposed to be helping people. This is the other side of it. Snuffing out threats. Hold Dude. him. So much just happened. These peeps did not take that stuff. I mean, why would he lie already at this? Oh, so that was the guy. He's taking out his own. Oh my, what is going on? Oh no. He was gonna do it. Get him, Aaron. Come on. Let's go. Holy shit, I just realized Aaron has Dwight's storyline in the comic. God damn minute! Good, Gabe's out of there. Oh, can't let him turn. What do the Commonwealth want with all those guns? It's the best way in? Where'd you get that? You gave it to the guy who rode into Hilltop. No, I didn't. 12 hours ago during the attack. Yeah! Here we go! What are they armed with? Machine guns. What's it look like? Who's this? Guy in charge is arguing with two others, a priest and a guy with a spike ball. Gabriel and Aaron. We come from a place called the Commonwealth. This isn't what I signed up Shut for. Up. Guys, this is getting wild. Negan's back, which I think we had an idea. Obviously, he was going to be back this season, but this is getting wild. Right here, you ask for Maggie, no one else. Tell her Gabriel and Aaron are in trouble. <laughs> He's the one who sent him there. Negan heard all of that conversation, well, that tail end of the conversation. And Negan and Gabe. Woo! Negan? Negan and Gabe. Two coming in, we gotta go. Oh, they saw that and they had to go. This is just wild. Love how they did that. Absolutely love it. <clears throat> Guess that's how he scratches his itch. Oh, they're still there? Your warlord is dead. Give us what's ours, and we'll leave. Where are the weapons? I don't know. She says they don't have them. They don't have them. I'm praying that you did steal them, because without them, you're dead. <laughs> great line, great line. Oh, this isn't going to end well. Where are my weapons? You really don't, do you? No. <laughs> well, I guess we saw that kind of coming. Oh my god. Uh, what you gonna do here, Negan? Another one? Get each room. Kill anyone who won't talk. Oh gosh. You guys gotta start making a move here. He wasn't what kept us together this long, and we did it by working together as a family. Wait a minute. Did Negan find these people and he was part of them? Sure sounds like it. They took out our best. Yeah, but they needed to hear it. Wow, so Negan's been part of this group. I wonder, oh, I hope they give us some kind of backstory on that. Oh, boy. Megan Cruz there now. 
Oh, that was it? Oh, come on. Damn, so are we going to see our group versus kind of the Commonwealth next week already? What a cliffhanger. Wow, folks, that is what we call a banger of an episode. I mean, just that last 10 minutes was absolutely crazy and awesome all at the same time. I'm going to be ping-ponging here all over in this, so just bear with me if you're making it to this point point. want to see this review here. Carlson, that dude is an absolute lunatic. Love it because this is that kind of character that The Walking Dead needs to keep things interesting as we move forward for sure. Uh, real quick here, folks, if you're not a comic book fan or whatever, let's just say the projection that Aaron is on currently is the Dwight Storyline comic. Now, I won't go into full, full detail, but we, feel free to let's chat it out in the comments. This is not a good thing at all for Aaron. I'm hoping that what we've been seeing out of The Walking Dead lately is they keep giving tidbits here and there uh, to our characters from the comic book. They make you think one way. The next episode, they don't touch it again. So I don't know what's going to happen with Aaron here, but it, in this episode, in this moment, it does not look good at all. So as we saw, Lance kind of gave us that quick back backstory on Carlson where he was CIA, basically an assassin. So of course he comes out and it sounds like he used to do this for the Commonwealth go out and take care of this hard work for this little these little secret ops for Lance and they had to go out and do this again I'm real curious if it is a setup from the Commonwealth is it the resistance that's taking all this stuff and Lance has no clue which is my guess here is that he has no idea about this resistance and who's all part of it and who's taking what here but dude was not Terminator. I'm just going to call him Terminator, Warlord, whatever you want to call him. Terminator was not lying. They have no idea who's taking that stuff. And now quite a few people have been taken out all because of Lance thinks that this, because the trails led to them. So not only did Lance feel bad about 20 some year old being taken out. No, he just offed basically almost a whole community i know they took some prisoners real quick with the lydia stuff i mean it's shown how how much things have changed where maggie is so old school thought right and lydia now has never really had a normal life and she thinks the commonwealth will give that to her you can't really fault her but i wasn't really digging maggie's story there about well you know during the drought uh well the drought isn't exactly in the zombie apocalypse here so can't really relate can't blame Maggie for trying to keep Lydia, but you can't blame Lydia for wanting to have more of a normal life considering she's never had it at all, especially being with Alpha. Gabriel, real cool to see him in his church setting. For a minute there, I was like, oh, maybe he found himself and maybe he's kind of dialed back the coldness. Not at all. Dude was right about, he had a funny feeling about Carlson. He was right about him the whole time, hiding the collar and all that stuff. And Gabe wound up decking Carlson right there, which I was actually kind of surprised by, especially when the dude was already gone. So thank God we get to see Negan come back. And he was the one who actually sent the kid to go to Hilltop. And really, how? Oh, I hope they give us some... Ba I'm too excited here, folks. I really hope they give us some backstory on how Negan fell with this group because... Did he get sick and tired of being by himself or, you know, did he just stumble upon this group and they gave him, welcomed him with open arms? Like, what is their process for letting people in? Because he was really in with that group, with that crew, because he said they took out the best of some of our best. She seems pretty cool with Negan, all that stuff. I mean, I know I'm kind of skipping over a lot here, folks, but a lot happened in this episode. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to chat with you down in the comments. Let's get all these theories and thoughts of everything that's going on in all of our heads right now down in the comments. I'm really interested, really, really, really interested to see what you guys got going on in your brains, especially about this episode. So, folks, that was The Walking Dead. This is Bad Medicine. Woo! Man, Mason Quinn missed a good one. So, until next time, see you on the next one.